Hello, dear colleagues. The provisions of the regulatory framework for the safe mining of gas brain coal since were laid down in the 60s of the last century. Over the past period of time, not only the main sources of methane risk have changed qualitatively and quantitatively, but also the factors that determine level and methods of safe mining of gas brain mine layers. Such changes in the conditions of mining operations have practically not been adequately reflected in the regulatory documents. Unfortunately, accidents with serious consequences associated with the ignitions of gas-air mixtures and the explosions in coal mines unfortunately are repeated periodically. This indicates the relevance of work aimed at establishing the factors that determine the safe mining of gas brain coal seams. To establish the main factors that determine gas release throughout the entire period of operation of mining areas, the known experimental data obtained in different mines were considered. In all cases, in the initial period of exploitation of the mining areas, as the working phases were removed from the split furnaces, an increase in the amount of release gas was observed. The increase in methane release during this period is due to an increase in the area of the mined out space and the development of process of displacement of underworked rocks to the settlement of the main roof with the subsequent development of these processes. The influence of the rate of movement of stop phases on the amount of gas released from the undermined strata manifested itself in the form of different dependencies for different objects. The given results of mine observations indicate that in order to enjoy the safe development of gas brain coal seams along with technological factors and natural gas resources in the undermined strata it is necessary when designing ventilation schemes for mining areas to provide for the exclusion of gas flow intersections workings. Of scientific and practical interest is the dependence of gas release per unit area of rocket out space on the rate of movement of production phases. The graphs of such dependencies show the reliability of this parameter for each object of observation. For practical purposes, the most suitable parameter for assessing the gas hazard may be the gas release indicator, which characterizes the total amount of gas release from the undermined sources from the start of operation of the extraction area to the current moment. The given graphs indicate that under unchanged mining geological and mining technical conditions, the total amount of release gas changes in direct proportion as the length of the worked out column or the area of the worked out space increases. Despite the changes in mining and geological conditions during the development of the seam, a close correlation was established between the amount of release gas and the area of the worked out area. This indicates that the lone walls were mined in similar mining and geological conditions. With sufficient removal of the working phase, the indicator of the ratio of the total gas release to the area is stabilized if the mining geological and mining technical conditions of exploitation of the extraction areas do not change. The obtained experimental data can only be explained by the sequence of mining of these lone walls. Based on the generalization of the results of the studies carried out to establish the main factors of gas hazard in coal mines of Ukraine, the following conclusions have been drawn. The scientific results obtained make it possible to develop a new methodology for assessing the gas hazard in coal mines and predicting gas emission from the undermined coal rock strata based on the existing production experience and technical documentation for establishing the hazard category of coal enterprises in previous years in accordance with the regulatory framework in force at that time. Thank you so much for your interest and attention.